Hey, what's up guys? So, this video has been long overdue. This is uh, the armory, as I like to call it. This is my studio room, it's basically my bedroom, uh, and armory. So as you can see, it's got a lot of cool stuff everywhere, but uh, I'll go ahead and kind of take you around. So, starting from here, I know it's a little messy or whatever. This is the editing station. Uh, as you can see, like, was working on the 2020 video here. I use Sony Vegas because it's easy to use. I really should be learning how to use Premiere. Uh, but yeah, this is where I do all my gaming, editing. Usually I got my Xbox here. My buddy's got it over there, so he's borrowing that. Um, I got a second monitor, so if I'm editing or playing a game but I want to watch something, I'll put something up, up here. Um, I've also got VR, so I've got Oculus, uh, courtesy of the guys over at uh, uh, Onward. Uh, they make a cool VR first-person shooting game. As you can see, too, I have this awesome, like, um, basically this is kind of like one of my main displays. So this is kind of set up. So it's got a bunch of some of my favorite guns, although a lot of my favorite guns are on that wall. Um, and this side's more of a timeline, so I'll get it out of the way so you can see it. So that's the timeline side. Uh, World War II, Vietnam, um, Gothic Serpent slash um, Desert Storm, G Watt Global War and Terror, and then it kind of gets into modern stuff. And this one's also a Gothic Serpent as well. And then these are kind of some of the more contemporary, newer uh, helmets, specifically MTEC stuff. Uh, down here, got a um, uh, coin rack. I got a bunch of different coins, uh, stuff from SEAL Team, which is really cool. So I don't know if you want to get a nice good shot of that. And then uh, there's the SAS, uh, SASR coin that I got from a buddy of mine. Uh, he was in the Ranger Regiment and went to go train with him, and then I got the coin from him. Um, so that's kind of this area. I think got a cool little Jurassic Park Jeep over there. This is a poster that a buddy of mine did for a photo shoot that we did in 2015, which was really cool. Uh, it was a very cool Jurassic uh, kind of thing. This is the main piece, kind of the piece that I've had the longest. It's kind of changed and like evolved over the last year or two. And my buddy Shep, who's filming, actually helped me put this up. And he also helped with that. I mean, anything that I do in this room, he helps me with. Um, but this is cool. Um, ever since I saw like the Magpul gun wall or Travis Haley's gun wall and like that recoil article, I was like, I want that. Now I got basically that. Yes, most of them, well, all of them are airsoft guns or props, uh, but it's still pretty cool and I can use them for movies and props and stuff or, or playing airsoft. So most of these, if not almost all of them, are all functional too. So uh, we got. Uh, Elite Force Avalon up there, Chris Vector, um, MA5B, Mark 18, Mark 17, uh, G36K, MP7, my Umbrella Armory gun down there. The reason the gun's on the stand there is because I'm always picking up and using it, so I don't want to be putting it on and off the wall all the time, so I just keep that one there at the ready. Uh, the middle, G36C, this is a KWA one. Got a VFC 416A5. This one specifically is the GBB version. Uh, and then we got, oh, this one's cool, Level Caps um, M16A3, which is really awesome. And then we got the uh, GBLS gun here. And don't be afraid, you can come close and come close and check this out too. Uh, this one's cool. This is Grand Thumb's gun from Jurassic World Exodus. Uh, it's all painted by him and Travis Haley. So that one's cool. It's a little piece of my sort of fan filmography. And then I got my uh, Gothic Serpent kind of style gun right here based off a classic army XM177, but kind of made to look like a 73. PTS PDRC. Uh, I forgot to go over some of the guns over here. I don't know why I, I forgot, but just kind of jumping back over here real quick. This is actually a clone of Travis Haley's war gun. So it's a clone of the Force Reconnaissance SOP mod that he carried with most of the mods, like uh, specifically the Ready Mag uh, and also the uh, little tube light mount, which kind of, as you can see, developed into something like this with the Haley Strategic uh, light mount there. Uh, this is also his gun from the Exodus film. So this is there's two of Haley's guns right there. Level caps, old 416. Uh, one of the original Crytax um, that before they were released, that is what we were using. Uh, and it was absolutely badass. And then we got the uh, Crytax. Um, was a PDW before, but now I put a rail on. So you can go ahead and get Get a look at that and check that out. But that one's pretty cool. Um, yeah, just a bunch of Crytex on the wall. I used to have more Crytex, so I still got a good amount. If we jump back over here to this side, um, obviously there's the M1 Grand. That one is a replica one, G&G. &G. Um, and uh, I do have a real one too, but uh, that's that. Then we got an M110 up here. Um, M110, Masada, 
um, ERG, original Magpul ERG, PTW, Centurion Arm CM4, Classic Army DT4, uh, Mark uh, 16, VFC, uh, AEG, another CM4, another Vector, and another GBLS gun. Uh, I, I just got guns coming out of the Kazoozle. Uh, this one right here is one of the guns I used recently. It's a VFC Avalon by Elite Force. Uh, so it's VFC OEM. So it's basically the same as the VFC Mark 18, but with the Avalon gearbox in it. Shoots awesome. Really accurate. I just destroyed people with GamePod. Um, so this right here, and if you actually pull back even further, you can actually see there's shit on top of there that I kind of need to address. Um, there's more guns up there. There's L85, uh, M Scarface-ish M203, but... Technically not the right error because it's got a uh, doesn't have a fixed carry handle on it. Um, my first airsoft gun's actually up there. It's kind of hard to see. It's just tucked away up there. Um, but yeah, that's where that bad boy is. Uh, original classic army M15A4 CQB that is now just sitting up there that needs to get put together. So this is one of the new, uh, uh, basically like add-ons to the centerpiece of the room. Um, this is the whole new gun gear setup that Shep built for me. So if you want some woodwork done hit up Shep. Uh, I'll put a link to his uh, social media in the description. So if you're local to SoCal and you need some woodwork done, just come to him. Or in Florida as well, because he's also from Florida. Uh, as you can see here, I've set this up, but it's really cool. I've got one piece of slat going across the top. So I can hang pistols and stuff. Uh, I can display them. So it's just a nice organized... I never really had an organized way of like showing off my handguns. Um, and also like belts and slings and stuff, or just all the gear is kind of here. Um, kind of inspired by some of the stuff that Haley has at his place, although his is more of like a teen cage. This is more like a big wood, you know, kind of gear setup. I love the aesthetic though. Uh, we got a lot of different plate carriers. I got a ghillie suit. It's kind of hard to see, but I got a ghillie suit back there. It's just really, really just tucked away back there. Uh, multiple plate carriers. I mean, we got uh, Tropic Combat Systems 1, LBX plate carriers. This one's actually pretty cool. This LBX plate carrier was actually used by John Bernthal in the Ghost Recon commercial, which is really badass. Um, got, I mean, and there's Haley rigs on everything. I've got a really good relationship with Travis. Uh, help him with stuff. He helps me with stuff. We collaborate. It's a really good uh, um, partnership, basically. So, uh, but yeah, so, and then I got just micros and heavies and lights and like every color, every, just like literally gear coming out of the Kazoozle here. So. This is the most recent Tropic, which hasn't been released. Everything's Velcro, so it all sticks to each other. Uh, this hasn't been released yet. This is the Tropic plate carrier, or drill. Tropic chest rig. This is a Z-Shot Cry um, licensed JPC 2.0, uh, but Travis is coming out with some plate system soon, so keep an eye out for that. Way more chest rigs, it's heavies, lights, micros, most of the micros are on things, so there's a little bit of everything. More of the GWAT type stuff, IBAs, um, Ranger body armor, stuff like that is over there. Uh, over here we got more of the Haley strategic stuff, this arid setup. This plate carrier is pretty cool because it's a Hunger Games plate carrier. Uh, this one was used in the Hunger Games movie. Uh, so I got that as one of my black kits, and then I got my Wolf Grey kit, arid, woodland, uh, obviously Tropic down there. This is my Gothic Serpent uh, Delta Force kit, which is kind of cool. And it's a little hard to see because I just have so much gear. So there's that. This one's like a Philippines kit. Uh, I got my Jurassic World plate carrier right there, which is kind of more configured for cosplay right now. Uh, and then if you swing around this side, you'll get a better head-on look at the Ranger body armor from um, Gothic Serpent Black Hawk Down era. So that's cool. And then there's just tons of like uh, gear and everything. I Spare patches are kind of kept here. I've got flat packs, just a bunch of flat packs and other accessories that if I need, they're right here. Um, uh, I got ammo, I got batteries, uh, I got extra suppressors and uh, dummy nods for film and pr as props and stuff like that. So there's that as well. Then I got actual ammo, more airsoft guns, P mags. I mean, just there's just tons of us. Like if I actually move this out of the way, You'll see there's even more EPMs and stuff. So use them for the shows and stuff and use them for obviously for playing and stuff. EPMs are freaking awesome mags. So we're coming out with uh, the new one. This is the new EPM one, which should be releasing really, really, really soon. Um, this is going to be the new hotness for magazines and airsoft. Uh, 200 plus rounds, uh, mid cap too. So this is going to be a game changer. Um, 
lots of ammo, just tons of extra little gear and accessories there. Uh, I got my rifle here. Um, this is actually one of the new guns I just got. This one, so I got the Airsoft M1. This is the real one, which is really cool. And uh, I kind of got M1 thumb the other day when I was fucking with it. This thing's legit. <laughs> so hopefully I didn't blow out your ears, but uh, always wanted one of these. Uh, a buddy of mine who's a military historian picked this one out for me. So I feel very... Uh, honored that a uh, guy whose whole life is basically just military history and he's been on TV shows and he worked on Call of Duty World War II. He's the guy who picked out the gun for me. So super awesome. This is a World War II era M1 Grand with a post-war barrel. Uh, so that's kind of this whole shabam right here. I just love, love this setup. I mean, it's gorgeous to look at. It's just got everything. Um, kind of swinging back this way. We have patch wall. Um, or just the side of the bed, really. <laughs> the two LBT uh, patch panels. I also have more patches. It's just I don't have enough of space to put them up. So there's just a lot of them in bags and stuff. So this is like a quarter of the patches I have. <laughs> I know, it's fucking crazy. Um, soldier Systems, love those guys. Uh, Eric Graves of Soldier Systems says, it's like, if there's a patch at SHOT Show that I'm always trying to get every year, Soldier Systems is the one. And I got my whole Medal of Honor collection. Just all kinds of cool stuff. The Hello Kitty ones. Um, this, even though this isn't a patch, it's got Velcro, so that's why it's on this. Uh, I don't know if this shows up. This is actually a cool thing uh, from Surefire. It was a display thing. Because I let them use my Black Hawk Down Gothic Serpent stuff for their 40th anniversary. So got to take uh, this cool class with those guys. Those guys have been really good helping me out with stuff and lights and whatnot. And then, um, yeah, and so I, I got to keep this little display piece as a little memorabilia thing from SHOT Show. So um, that was really cool. Um, swinging over here, I know this is just a big Ikea thing with, with boxes and stuff. And most of it is just like clothes and stuff. But kind of how I store my extra gear is mostly down here but it's like so like this one is all like cry knee pads and these are all the real cry knee pads green ones um foliage green ones all my eye pro I just got Oakley's coming out of the kazoozle in there tons of Oakley stuff um extra pouches woodland DCU other miscellaneous pouches go in here uh let's see that's documents um these are the little bits and bobs straps clips I mean some of the stuff might seem like kind of weird or kind of like not important, but organizing your shit um, helps a lot. I really need more bins and stuff because whenever you're like working on a project or you need gear for stuff, it's good to know where all that stuff is. So that's like some of the extra gear. Um, moving over this way right here. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. This is eventually going to become some kind of toy display. Um, whether it's a glass display or something. But for right now, it's just an extra clothes rack because I'm running out of room in the closet. Uh, this is basically almost all my All Skill No Luck stuff. Uh, all Skill No Luck makes a lot of really awesome combat flannels, which is great. I wear them all the time. Uh, great style points and functional. So uh, it keeps you warm, especially in California. Uh, also got the uh, California Combat Hoodie, which is a joint collaboration between All Skill No Luck and Grip Stop, uh, Nate Murr, who used to be uh, with Breach Bane Clear. Um, so these are really cool hoodies. I obviously wear, had this one the longest and I wear this a lot. It's actually got a pocket on the, ins on the inside of the front. So you can put a uh, insert for magazines and then you can attach a cummerbund strap underneath and then it'll keep the magazines there and they can basically use it like a chest rig, which is cool because you're not having to wear a chest rig, but you have a chest rig basically, a kangaroo pouch. Um, all skill, no luck, uh, combat Hawaiian. T-shirts, freaking those guys are awesome. I really love the Blackbeard one, which is badass. And then they've been doing this new style, which is kind of like a combat hoodie. It's like a combat shirt with a hood um, that's really cool. So, and it has like the vest you can get for it too. So super, super stoked about that. And if you guys know me, I'm kind of a big gear uniform whore. So if you come over here, this is just tons and tons of uniforms and stuff we got. Jurassic World stuff. Um, a lot of, I mean, I kind of, you see it's kind of color-coded. Uh, LAPD cries, uh, black cries. Uh, also got um, some cry, a lot of cry replica stuff from FFI. FFI makes a little, if you're basically balling on a budget, but want some pretty decent stuff, FFI is probably the best bang for your buck that also meets a particularly quality standard that I like. 
it's good enough for airsoft and even the range um it doesn't really break the bank it's like a hundred something for like top and bottom uh, this can't tell you what it's about it comes out in july yeah this, so this is from movies but i can't tell you what it is um ucp stuff i know everyone's like well, why do you have ucp well uh, in case I run with Mayhem, I got UCP for, like, 2010, like, Ranger stuff. But I also got this Paraclete shit. I don't know if you guys are big gear nerds, but this is a Paraclete soft BDU. It's fucking really, really cool. And it's in the UCP pattern, so... I don't know. When you want rock this shit with Ranger Green, it's the only time UCP looks cool. Um, also got UCP Delta. I got some tan stuff. Lots of multicam. I don't really wear multicam all that often. Um, I got multicam, like cry tops, British MTP, uh, more multicam, another cry AC top, uh, Chinese People Liberation Army, uh, night camo. I just got a night camo combat shirt. I don't know, it's in here somewhere. Ranger green. I love Ranger green. Ranger green just works with everything. Mass gray, which is really nice. More Ranger green, Cryptek. Ah, this is a new uniform from FFI that's coming out. In, um, night camo combat uniform that's mass produced so that's actually pretty cool because there's every time you see night camo stuff it's all 100 percent custom uh, or very low numbers uh made um very limited run uh tiger stripe combat uniform uh more uh, jungle uniform then we get vietnam real quick and, and tropic so i got erdl erdl m81 um philippine camo then arid and then just tons of DCU. I don't know if it's easy to see. Just tons, tons of the shit. I got some really rare uniforms in there. I got a, uh, where is it? It's it's in here somewhere. Basically, it's the close combat uniform. Oh, it's this one. Yeah, this one. This is probably one of the rarest uniforms I have. GWAT uniform predates the co Army combat uniform. Uh, close combat uniform was like that prototype of that basically became the ACU. Uh, but obviously this is in DCU and there are some ACU cut in DCU that you can get as well. It's another good option, but super, super rare. Um, so that's kind of the uniforms and obviously I've got the pants too. They're just not in here. Just I can't fit everything. Um, they're in the other side, but you don't really need to see the other side. Uh, I got a lot of World War II stuff as well. Um, I'm going to do World War II stuff reenacting. So go ahead and f follow me back this way. But, uh, yeah, so that kind of. That's basically the room. Um, got a lot of stuff that I need to work on, um, but and a couple things here and there. I want to make things a little tidier, but hope you guys enjoyed that quick little tour. Um, I'm also going to have footage and content um, kind of really going down and breaking down a lot of the individual pieces as well. So, um, but yeah, so thank you guys for watching. That was my armory slash room video that I've been really waiting to do long overdue now you got it so now you kind of have an idea of my little like temple of my uh temple of fortress of solitude or whatever uh but now it's time for you to get out so <laughs> all right so time for you to go all right thank you guys for watching and uh i'll be seeing you whenever <laughs> all right out of here out of here